Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we read a very beautiful word from the Bible. Encouragement is there and also blessings is also always there. When we read the word of God, the living word from the Bible. Yes, beloved. As we see in Luke chapter 22, verse 42 to 44. Here it says, And being in an agony, he prayed, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. And they appeared, and there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening him. Luke 22, 42-44. Here is a beautiful picturization, beloved, as there is an hour of real sorrow and also of pain, as you can understand, of grief, of sorrow. And Jesus Christ is saying, let thy will be done, not my will. It is true. Let us always say, let thy will be done, John 6, verse 38. Yes, beloved, for God knows what is best for you and for me. And also, he will strengthen us as the angels strengthen. Yes, him. Yes, beloved. So, the important points are there. Yes, in our walk of life, as we walk through the life, there are hills, there are valleys of problems, of sorrow. Beloved, as we read in Job 37, it says, Stand still and consider the wonders, wondrous works of God. The words are true, beloved. The same word in Psalm 46 verse 10, there it says, Yes, as we see, be still and know that I am God. Many times in life, it is difficult to wait. But as we read in Psalm 37, it says, Wait upon the Lord, wait upon the Lord, wait upon the Lord. Three times we read it is saying, wait upon the Lord. Then it says, rest in the Lord, rest in the Lord, rest in the Lord. And trust in the Lord, trust in the Lord, trust in the Lord. Yes, beloved. So remember, we are not alone. Jesus Christ is there with us every second, every moment. There are times of being discouraged. But the word is speaking to you and to me. I can do all things in Christ who strengthens me. Yes, beloved, as we read in Philippians 4 verse 13 and also as we read in Philippians 4 verse 19, the word is speaking to you and to me. Yes, my God will provide all your needs in the glorious riches of Ishu Masiha. So what do we have to do? We have to go boldly in his presence and put up our request, beloved. Yes, for he will surely answer us. Yes, the words are true. As we read in Micah 7 7, it says, I will look to the Lord, I will wait for him, and he will answer my prayer. For he is a God of living, not the dead, beloved. Yes, even in the winds and the waves obey him. The words are true, beloved. For he is the maker of heaven and earth, beloved. For the words are true as we read in Luke 20, verse 38. He is the God of living, not the dead, and all live to him. The words are true, beloved. Yes. So, also, as the word says, O taste and see, the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. As we read in Psalm 34, verse 8, Yes, I am his witness. I want you also to put your trust in the Lord, for there is no fees for this. You have to only believe Mark 5, verse 36. Yes, we may be in an hour of depression, of real feelings of giving up in life. But do not quit, my dear sister, my dear brother. For you are in this world, God has a purpose. And let us always say, Thy will be done. John 6 verse 38. Yes, for Jesus Christ is the light of the world. John 8 12. He is the living waters. John 4 verse 10. And he will take care of us. He will carry us even in our gray hair and old age. The words are true as we read in Isaiah 46 verse 4. And Isaiah 46 verse 10 says, From the beginning he knows the end, beloved. Yes, the words are true. Call unto me and I will tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. The words are true as read in Jeremiah 33 verse 3. And a God has loved us with everlasting love. Jeremiah 31 verse 3. Yes, even before we loved him, he's loved us. And not only that, he says to us, yes, I love you. As we read in Jeremiah chapter 7, three times it says, I love you. As we read in Isaiah 43 verse 4, it says, yes, as it says, I love you. He will give men in exchange for us. Yes, and also he says to us, you are precious in my sight, you are honored. So do not be worried, my dear sister, my dear brother. Yes, for the world says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 34, do not worry about tomorrow, 
for tomorrow will worry about itself. Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow, they do not reap, but God provides them. Yes, God will provide all our needs. He is a Yahweh Ire. Genesis 22 verse 14. God will provide. And in blessings, I will bless you. The words are true as we read the mighty word in Genesis 22 verse 17. Be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, beloved. Yes, for when we have the Holy Spirit, yes, yes, we, it's been given to us as a guide. Yes, it has been given to us as a helper and it will help us to discern the right and the wrong, beloved. Yes, and the word says, ask and you shall receive. Yes, as it will be given to everyone. Matthew 7, verse 8. So whatever our requirements are there for the day, Jesus Christ is here to provide it to us. The word says to you and to me, fear the Lord 365 times in the Bible. The words are true, beloved. He is a loving father and a loving mother, as we read in Isaiah 62, 63, 64. And Isaiah 66, verse 13 says, He comforted us like a loving mother. Yes, more than a loving mother. Yes, beloved. For he is a living God. He has all power and authority as we read in Matthew 28. Yes, and he's with us till the end of the age. Matthew 28. The words are true, beloved. Yes, for even the waves, the winds obey him. He is the maker of heaven and earth as we read in Psalm 121. The words are true. Yes, beloved. He will bless us with wisdom. My dear children, my dear young children. Yes, as you have your exams right now, Jesus Christ will bless you with the wisdom. Yes, for the word says in James 1 verse 5, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God that give it to all men liberally and abrid it not. The words are true. For the word is spirit, the word is life, the word is flawless, the word is proven. As we read in John 6 verse 63, he will strengthen us. Yes, let us praise him. And the commandment given to you and to me, as we read in John 15 verse 12 is, We have to love one another. Yes, for love is the greatest of all. 1 Corinthians 13, 13. Faith, hope and charity. But the greatest of all is love, beloved. Yes, the word is living. Yes, beloved. Heavens and earth shall pass away. But his word will not pass away. Matthew 24, 35. The words are true. He's the omnipotent God who reigns as we read in Revelation 19. Yes, verse 6. And he will wipe away our tears. He will be our shepherd. He will wipe away our every tear. Yes, and he will lead us to the living waters, for he is the living waters, John 4.12. And also, he is the gate, whoever enters will find pasture, inside, outside, and will be in safety. The words are true as we read in John 10 verse 9. Yes, beloved. Yes, the words are true. As he blessed the lady with the oil, yes, the woman who became widow, had two sons, had to pay the debts. Yes, the oil never got over, the olive oil. Yes, and she could pay her debts and live on it. Similarly, whatever we have, Jesus Christ will bless us. For he is the living God. Yes, and he is present with us every second, every moment. As we read in Deuteronomy 31 verse 6, the word says, He will never leave you nor forsake you. Yes, the words are true, beloved. Yes, the word says, only believe. Mark 5 verse 36. Yes, the words are very simple, but very, very powerful. Only believe. The word says in Mark 5 verse 36, Fear not, only believe. The words are true, beloved. For there are 20,000 chariots for each one of us. As we read in Psalm 68, He will set the bound into prosperity. His name is Yah. As we read in Psalm 68 verse 4 verse 5. And also, yes, He will place us all three in families. He will do it, beloved. And He will not leave us orphans. The words are true as we read in John 18 verse 14. So whatever our problems are there for today, let us go in his presence boldly. For the word says in Zechariah 1 verse 3, Draw near to me and I will draw near to you. The word says, I love those who love me and those who seek me diligently will find me. As we read in Proverbs 8 verse 17 and verse 18 says, Yes, he has riches, righteousness, yes, enduring riches, yes, beloved. And also, as the word says in verse 21 of Proverbs 8, Yes, enduring richness. Yes, and he will also bless us, bestowing wealth on all those whom he loves and making the treasuries full. The words are true, beloved. The words are true as we read in Isaiah 45 verse 7. I form light, I create darkness, I bring prosperity and also I create disaster. I am the God who does all these things. The words are true as we read in Psalm. Yes, as we read in Isaiah 45 verse 7. And right now, my dear brother, my dear sister, he is healing you. For with the wounds and the stripes that he suffered for us, he heals us. 
Isaiah 53 verse 5. Be healed in the name of Yahweh Rapheka. Also, he is a banner as we read in Isaiah chapter 11 verse 10. Yeshu Nisi. Yes, he is our banner. He is a Malek Malekin, King of Kings. He is our Emmanuel, God with us. Yes, and he is with us. As it says, yes, Yahweh Shama, God is over there. As we read in Ezekiel 48 verse 35. Yes, there will be showers of blessing in your house, my dear sister, my dear brother, as we commit ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, he will lead us, guide us and help us. Psalm 32 verse 8. Yes, let us surrender ourselves in his hands and he will take care of us. He will be a guide even unto death. The words are true as we read in Psalm 48 verse 14. He will bless us with blessings, with joy, with happiness. As we read, the joy of the Lord is my strength, Nehemiah 8 10. Yes, beloved. He will bless us with joy. For these things cannot be purchased with millions of dollars also. Yes, there are, there are 40,000 checks in the Bible and cash it with your own signature. Keep your hand on the word, particular word and receive the blessings. It's so simple. Yes, give at least half an hour to read the Bible and pray. Do it every day. For the word says to you and to me, 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 and 17, Rejoice in the Lord, give thanks in all circumstances and pray constantly. For this is will of God and Jesus Christ for you. The words are true, beloved. Pray without ceasing. The word says, yes, let us do it. Yes, and be victorious in life. For the horse is made ready for the day of battle. But the victory rests with the Lord. As we read in Proverbs 20. Yes, it is true in Proverbs 21, verse 31 and 30. Yes, the victory rests with the living God. For the battle is the Lord's. The words are true. 1 Samuel 17, verse 47. So be victorious in life, beloved. Yes, and do not quit in life. Yes, for he is there with us every second. As the word says, as we read in Psalm 110 and Psalm 150, Praise Yah, praise Abayah in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty form and praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his exceeding greatness. Praise him with trumpet sound. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with sounding cymbals. Praise him with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise Yah. Hallelujah. The words are true. And also as we read in Psalm 110, it says, The Lord says to my Lord, sit at my right hand, until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. The Lord will extend your mighty scepter from Zion. You will rule in the midst of your enemies. Your troops will be willing on the day of battle. Arrayed in holy majesty from the womb of the dawn, you will receive the dew of the youth. The Lord is sworn will not change his mind. Your priest forever in the order of mercy. The Lord is at your right hand. He will crush kings on the day of his wrath heaping up the rulers of the whole earth. He will drink from a brook beside the way. Therefore, he will lift up his head. Yes, beloved, be courageous. That is the commandment for us. Behave courageously. As we read in Second Chronicles 19 verse 11, for our living God hates cowardness. Yes, and also he is there with us till the end. Yes, you are not alone, my dear sister, my dear brother. He will not leave us orphans. As read in John 14 verse 18. Yes, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God and the word is God. As read in John 1 1. Yes, and the word is blessing you and me. Yes, God will bless you in all that you do. As we read in Genesis 21 verse 22. As Abraham was blessed, you and me, we all will be blessed. So arise and shine. Is the word for you and me, Isaiah 60 verse 1. And the blessing for this year, the prophecy is, as we read in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, it says, I know your thoughts. I have plans of future hope, prosperity and welfare and peace for you and me. So be encouraged, my dear sister, my dear brother. Yes, and also be victorious in life. Wipe away those tears and be joyous. Yes, be filled with joy today and every day. Yes, be encouraged. Yes, Jesus Christ is there with us every second arise and shine is the channel yes do like and subscribe arise and shine alfred rathod and family usa this is dr mrs alfred james rathod speaking for the channel as god has called me yes as for me and my house will serve the lord joshua 24 verse 15 yes beloved be encouraged as jesus christ is there with us as he's called me to be a prophetess and also evangelist and priest, I thank him. And let thy will be done as the word says in John 6 verse 38. Remember, he's blessed us as thou shalt be blessed of all people and thou shalt be free of all diseases. As says in Deuteronomy chapter 7 verses 14 and 15. Yes, beloved. Yes. And the word says, only believe. 
remember it. As we read in Mark 5, yes, the words are true, yes. For the word says to you and to me in John 4 verse 26, I that speaketh am he, he is our I am who I am. As we read in Exodus 3 verse 14, for our every problem, the answer is, as we read in Exodus 33 verse 14, my presence shall go with thee and I will give you rest. Remember the same word in Deuteronomy 31 verse 6, the word says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. For do not be afraid, be strong, be courageous. Yes, hallelujah. Be, let us be strong and courageous and be blessed today and every day. Amen. May Jesus Christ bless all of us. As the word says, God bless you. As we read Numbers chapter 6, yes, verse 24. Yes, hallelujah. Amen. Amen.